Pokemon Ultimate Adventures by Mike Azuki. Location Grim Void. Way to go, Ash! Way to go! Gary smiled. Grand Dreamer had been defeated, and Ash was with Misty. Gary sighed and reflected on the past. Both he and Ash had come a long way, and both had matured greatly. Gary himself was no longer the self-absorbed, conceited person, but now a formidable trainer, highly intelligent, and a great adventurer. Ash was no longer a loudmouth idiot. Well, not a loudmouth anyway. But he was also a formidable trainer, himself a great adventurer, a fighter, and now he even had a girlfriend. You've really been growing up, Ash. We all have. They did it! Ebby and Amoebe cheered. <laughs> that was so beautiful! Jesse and James cried. And after all this time, they finally said it! Said Brock. I just love happy endings! Said Meowth. Uh, guys, I really hate to be a killjoy, but, um, isn't that Chaos Reaper still around? Asked Tracy. Ah, don't worry, said Abby, holding up the Abby decks. If you look at this thing, you could see that he's locked up safely in the vault, he said proudly, and looked at the map screen on the Abby decks. Ah, uh, that's strange. I wonder, how come this thing isn't showing his location in the vault? And how come the door's wide open and looks like a vampire's been savagely beating and slashing at it until he tore the thing right off the hinges? And how come it's showing Chaos Reaper running through the city and ready to spread unprecedented chaos and destroying everything in his path while currently heading in Ash and Misty's direction? Asked Ebby. <coughs> he suddenly realized what was going on. Um, this isn't a good sign, right? Asked Gary. Because if they lose, then won't we be stuck here forever? Everyone sweat dropped as they watched Ebby lay out furniture around his area of the void. Ebby placed a sign that said, Home Sweet Void, before seating himself in one of the comfy chairs and reading a newspaper. By the look of it, yes, Tracy sweat dropped. Location, Marble City. Um, Misty? Ash asked, rather embarrassed. Yes, Ash? You have no idea how happy us being together has made me. But you know what would make me even happier? He asked. What is it, Ash? Come on, you can tell me, said Misty. I can't breathe, said Ash. Oh, I'm so sorry. Misty let go, letting Ash breathe again. Ugh, thanks, said Ash, as he looked at Misty. Wow, I can't believe I never noticed how beautiful you look. Oh, thank you. Misty blushed at Ash's compliment. Yeah, things are so great. I've never been happier. I never thought this day would come, Ash said as he put his arms around her. I wanted to tell you a long time ago, but all those times I spent fighting, and we've never been alone together long enough to... He stopped and turned to his Pokemon, who were all sitting there watching the scene. Hey! I said I don't need any witnesses for this! RETURN! He called them back to their Pokeballs. Pikachu, do you mind? We'd like some alone time! Pikachu sighed and walked off. Now, where were we? You were saying how we were never alone long enough to tell each other how we felt. I mean, it's really hard to believe it. Me and you, girlfriend and boyfriend. I wonder how everyone's gonna react when they find out about this. Yeah, I wonder. Just better hope my mom doesn't find out about this, otherwise... Ash stopped. He felt his trainer instincts kicking in. The trainer instincts had always served him well and saved his life many times, because it never failed and always told him when there was danger. Pikachu! Pikachu ran back to the scene, trying to warn them of something. Ash, get him! A loud voice shouted, making them jump. Floating in the air a few meters in front of them was a ghostly dark gray transparent figure, nearly impossible to see. It landed on the ground and regained its solidity and color. Standing in front of them was Chaos Reaper. 
<laughs> Ash and Misty jumped back, and Pikachu's cheeks started sparking. Chaos Reaper was not in a good mood. Stuffing that explosive in my mouth and detonating it was not very nice, and doing the nutcracker with that hammer was most unpleasant. He spoke coldly. You were already on the last straw when you turned the lights of the city back on. They really burn, you know? But you just had to go out and hit me with that beam, and then lock me in the vault with more explosives! The only thing holding me back from ripping that door out of the way was the fear of those painful explosives. When that tarot card that defeated GD was used, he wasn't the only one hit. Though the vault did protect me from the power draining effects, the explosion still knocked me over onto one of those balls, making them all blow up in my face. It was painful. Very painful indeed, he growled. I have spent a lifetime in darkness, living with the horrors you could not even begin to imagine. And yet, after all you've done, the once fearless super fiend of darkness now has a phobia! He growled even louder. Ash, Misty, and Pikachu backed off nervously. You've insulted me! Too many times! You are beyond redemption! I'll kill you both! He screamed as he charged forwards. Move, Misty! Ash pushed her to the side. Blah! Blood whip! Chaos Reaper lashed at Ash with a blood-soaked black whip. <laughs> Ash screamed in pain as the whip hit him on the shoulder. That hurt a lot more than it should have. It wasn't a normal whip. Die! <laughs> he snarled and charged forwards, fangs and claws bared. Silver bullet! yelled Ash. The Quicksilver on his arm shot forward at high speed, but it pulled him as well. Ah! Ash slammed into Chaos Reaper at full force, but the Super Fiend didn't even feel it. Ah! Ash moved his head as Chaos Reaper used Blood Slash, narrowly avoiding his head being torn off, but it still grazed him on the side of the cheek. Oh yeah? Take this! Ash pulled out a Nitro Ball in his left hand and swung it towards Chaos Reaper's face, but the vampire grabbed Ash's wrist, keeping the ball from touching him. Ash struggled. Give it up, weakling! Chaos Reaper growled as he flipped Ash over his head and slammed his body to the ground, but kept Ash's hand still to keep the ball from detonating. You are very stupid indeed. Detonating it in my face wouldn't kill me, but it would have definitely blown your hand right off! Chaos Reaper grabbed the Nitro Ball out of Ash's hand. Let's see how you like getting these blown up in your face! He snarled as he held it in his hand and swung it downward. Silver bullet! Ash screamed immediately. Before the ball could touch him, the Quicksilver pulled him from Chaos Reaper's grip. Ah! Chaos Reaper explained as he struck the Nitro Ball against the ground. Ah! Chaos Reaper screamed. The ball exploded in his hand. Though it didn't harm his body very much, it was still very painful, and he was extremely shaken by it. Heh, it may not be the weakness that comes with the transformation, but those Nitro Balls work really well! Yeah! Ash and Misty high-fived each other.